Hello guys and welcome back to the channel, thanks for tuning in. So today I'm going to be sticking on this skin on my Steam Deck. Now originally I did think this was a Batman skin but it turned out to be a Batgirl skin. But oh well, it is what it is. Let's keep it moving. And the colour scheme seemed a little bit more purple in the actual picture. But when it came to my actual home and I looked at it with my eyes, it's a little bit more blue than it is purple because purple is my favourite colour. And that's the original reason why I actually chose this skin. But without further ado, let's go ahead and stick this skin on. Now, it's not very difficult. It is a little bit tedious here and there. You are going to need something like a heat gun or something. I couldn't find my heat gun. You know, it's one of those things when you try to make a video and you can't find your item. And then once you've actually done the video, you find the item you were looking for. But in the process of this video, I will be using my uh, wife's hair dryer because it does the same job so that's what you're going to need guys you're going to need something that you can heat this actual skin to make it stick properly because that's the best way to do it because it does expand and it does elasticate um and it will make your you know your whole experience a little bit easier and you'll see me using the actual hair dryer here and there throughout the video A quick tip just make sure that you're actually sticking down the skin as you go along it will come up here and there because of the heat and the heat dissipation going to the different areas of the skin sometimes it does get lifted up so just make sure that you keep a keen eye as you go around and make sure you keep sticking it down otherwise you will lose that residue that you know sticks the whole thing down together Also, whilst editing the video, I did realise that there is a blemish on the actual skin. That little white dot is a blemish. Oh well. It's actually quite therapeutic sticking these skins onto your actual consoles. I might actually do one for the Nintendo Switch. Let me know in the comment section and let me know if I should or not. Okay, so that was nice and easy to do. Let's start off with the back now. The back's going to be a little bit harder because we do have these grills at the bottom here and they're going to be kind of difficult to align. But we shall see. Let's find out to see if I can actually line that up properly without making any mistakes. Not too bad if I must say so myself. I think it went on quite nice and easy. It was easy to align and it's took down you just gotta align the little holes where the screws are and stuff and everything just falls into place so that was really nice and easy to do i was kind of stressed about that i'm not gonna lie <laughs> and then you just gotta make sure that everything is nice and stuck down on either side from top to bottom and just goes over the nice little usb port there and everything else should be nice and easy to put together as you can see there's not a big gap it's nice and flush so i think i did a pretty good job so far well so far so good and then you just got to make sure that you do the same thing on the other side. And you're going to have to go over it with a heat gun quite a few times before everything sticks down nice and perfectly to your liking. 
it did take a few attempts to go around and just make sure that everything is nice and neatly secured there with a heat gun or in my case a hairdryer <laughs> let me know what you guys use in the comment section if you use a heat gun or a hairdryer it does exactly the same thing to be honest but i wish i did have my heat gun it would have just looked a little bit more professional but as you know this is a no frills youtube channel we don't do anything nice and flashy here we keep it nice and simple nice and basic and we just use the tools that we have at hand Just making sure that everything is nice and secure then, like I mentioned earlier, you gotta go over it a few times, especially where this grill area is, and make sure it's nice and stuck down, and nothing's sticking up, because you don't want any dust or anything to go on there, otherwise it's not gonna stick. Okay, so there is some blemishes unfortunately for me, so this corner here did bubble up, and I couldn't get the creases out no matter what I did, so yeah. Final touches then, let's stick these thumbstick sticky, sticky bits on, and then we can go ahead and show you the final article. So here's the final article guys i think it looks really nice i think it makes it look a little bit more personalized and i do actually like the look and feel of it so i'm really glad that i did this i wish i did get the batman one there was a different batman version of the same skin but hey ho it's batgirl it is what it is but i think it looks really nice and i'm glad that i actually did it and i think it's turned out to look really nice and really cool so yeah leave some comments in the comment section let me know how i did are you going to put a skin on your steam deck i think i'll totally recommend it as you can see, there is some creases on the edges there. Anyway, that was it, guys. Please do like, share, subscribe, leave some comments, and peace. I'll catch you on the next video.